Hey friends, Shane from HighRents.com, and I'm doing a, a set of E65 Honda carburetors here. I'm going to have the full video of this. I'm splitting the rack on this V4, and just as I was kind of working along and doing my thing, I started thinking how many times in this video I was grabbing a tool that's not in the service manual. So I was going to do a, a real couple of quick things that was always a mandatory policy for my employees that work for me because you lose stuff really easy without these tools. So the first tool I want to talk about is just as you're disassembling the carbs, it's really nice to have a lip type of tray. This is just one of those cooking sheets. Man, find these at garage sales, buy them all. But a lip tray because like as you're working on it and springs start popping out and things like that. And I even had a, an old broke washer you're gonna have a really good chance you're gonna catch everything in here and then find it. So like this particular set of carbs was even missing one of these springs, but I can feel really confident from how I take it apart that it would be caught here. Plus I know that's supposed to be there. So one of the other tools that is not in a service manual is something like this, a big old giant chunk of foam. What you're gonna see when you're using an impact driver Okay, and you're trying to break those screws of like a manifold like this where you want to bang down inside there. You'll see the full thing in the full video. And they're always a fat number three or whatnot, and you're having to whack on pretty good with a hammer. I see people all the time taking this carb body, let's say, um, that screw we're talking about is right here on this particular one. And they're setting it up like this, and they're smacking with a hammer there's a really good chance you're gonna pop off and break, you know, a nipple on the carb or damage it, or you, there's just no way in heck that you want metal to metal when you're banging around the impact. So make sure you got yourself kind of stack up on like shipping supplies or different things. And that's a really, really handy tool to not get you into trouble and have you break something that you didn't mean to, okay? And then the last thing that I'm just gonna talk about in this video is that you can see my organization here. I've got labeled things like that. You've probably seen that in a lot of videos. I have a little notepad going with the cylinder order. I'm gonna jot some notes down. But the thing that I see people do is they, they're taking a carb apart in this shape, okay? Now, I like to go ahead and just get them split to individual carbs, but before I open this up to start doing, you know, what you wanna call heart surgery, there's no way that I wanna intentionally put this stuff in here. I know I'm going to clean it. I know it's required to still do a lot of work yet. But what I like to do is you could see kind of the shape this one was in. Okay. And I like to get it to something where at least all the heavy stuff is off. Look, once again, not going for perfection, but anything that was really, really heavy is really knocked off there. I haven't even blowed the mineral spirits with these off of the blow gun yet. So keep that in mind, just get the heavy stuff. And then when you go to take this to a parts washer, this is the one that made me want to make the video, just reminding people. I cannot tell you how many times over the years that technicians lost like a doll pin. They're like, oh, that's tight. That's not coming out. But for some reason, when you walk across that shop floor, I tell you what, everything's going to fall out that you weren't planning on falling out. It's just the law of nature or something, right? So here's my tip. Always when you transport parts to the parts washer, put them in a tote. That way while you're walking along, it can be caught in that tote. You can see here, I have a variety of different totes that I use, especially you gotta have a lot when you start doing you know, engines because as you break it down, you wanna maybe carry a bunch of stuff over the parts washer. So let's just model that well. I'm gonna take my tote, I'm gonna walk along here, la di da And then what I'm gonna do is get my gloves out of the way. And now this is something much more manageable for me to work with. It'd even be a great idea if you're really concerned to do something like this. My totes, I don't intend to get mineral spirits in there. I, I don't like leaving it in there because it can tend to kind of warp it. If you use an ultrasonic, this is fantastic. Or a vapor blaster as well. You're gonna I'll find that to work really well. So that is my tip. Now I'm going to go in here and clean this off, grab it, take it back to the workspace, and life is going to be good. So, hey, I hope you appreciate this. If you haven't done so yet, make sure and like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you are looking for, you know, fuel system related videos, we have over 100 videos in the playlist. 
We have a bunch of member only ones. Thank you for joining, supporting the channel. This is going to be a good one. Haven't seen one of these uh, come in for a while. I uh, always enjoy doing the more difficult ones. I'm going to be filming the whole thing from above, showing completely how to disassemble and uh, reassemble Honda V65 V4 carbs that are a little bit uh, intimidating people. So, all right. As always, my friends, make it a great day. Like, share, subscribe, and keep wrenching. Thank you.